got outside the channel and we went in, we, it was called a whole gale after passing Land's End and the Isles of Scilly. And we were very high up and very far aft. Uh, and that ship really went up and down. And it oh. made a, a noise when it went down. The, the screws didn't actually come out of water, but they came close to the surface and you could hear them. Uh, and then there would be this bam like that, oh. you know, and you had to put, you, Robert came in and made sure everything was either on the floor or was in a drawer. And sometimes the drawers would open. The, well, I don't know how high the waves were, but they, they were really high. And I found that that happened mostly at night. And then the next day it was still raging. And I found a place mm -hmm. forward, looking forward, and it was underneath the bridge. And it, it was protected from the front by, by the superstructure of the bridge and a, and a window. And I could stand there. I had to go outside to do it, but I only had to go outside a very short distance. And I could watch what was going on. You know, you, you'd see these waves coming and you knew, you could tell which one was the bigger one and which ones were cresting and that kind of thing. The, the ship would go down and the bow would actually be buried in the water. If it was a really big wave, the ocean would actually come racing across the deck and slam up against the f forward superstructure. Bam, <laughs> like that. And if you turned around and I looked up afterwards, you could see this water going across the top, the spray going past the funnels, you know, and over the, the, the back of the ship. Uh, I mean, it was just fascinating. But wow. what, what happened during this storm, and we ran into a hurricane left, so I'll do most of the storm with this one. Um, the, 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 there were, at the bow, you had these, you know, the, the bow sides came up, you know, to protect mm -hmm. the deck. Well, on the starboard sides, those huge plates folded back onto the deck. And, wow. the, and, and, then, and then the bars, where where they were kind of a little like fencing mechanism were just simply torn off, um, and promenade deck windows you didn't go out on the promenade deck were being smashed by the seas hitting the side of the ship. Oh my gosh, um, that's there was frightening! No, you, know, you, you didn't go to the dining room. Obviously, you didn't go anywhere. I did, but and I did. I went around, and, and the, the ship was like a tomb. And when you came to a a foyer, they had they had. Uh, ropes, uh, there were red ropes that were strung across the open spaces and hooked it on mm -hmm. either end. And you use that to get across an open space. So you had right. something to hold, hold on to. But you really weren't supposed to be around at all. And there was nobody around except occasional stewards and, and me. Uh, but I didn't, they didn't bother about me. So um, then I went back to the room once and mother was standing there and she was terrified. Uh, by the movements and Robert was in the room as well at that point, thank God. And my mother said, your brother hasn't moved for about three hours. My, my brother had gotten so seasick, he was beyond, and he was in some sort of comatose situation, just lying there. And she said, every once in a while, I, I go in there, I poke him to see if he's still alive. I mean, that's how frightened. Oh my gosh.